I'm going to be real with you. I was not looking forward to this movie at all. Like, I did not. This movie just was not registering for me. And there was just a lot of complicated feelings for me because I love Ash vs. Evil Dead. And I thought that was a brilliant bow tie on the franchise. And I thought it was a really great send-off for those characters. And when it was announced that Evil Dead Rise was going to be its own self-alone, standalone movie, like a reboot, a retool, a remix, a remake, whatever. I sighed, I groaned, I rolled, I, I, I rolled my eyes. I didn't care. I didn't care. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm a fan of this franchise. I like this franchise a lot. And the 2013 remake, I think, is one of the best remakes that I've seen. You know, you can put the remake up there with The Thing, The Fly... Um, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, you know what I mean? So on and so on. I saw this movie and I was blown away. I have yet to seen a weak entry in this franchise. That's my point. That's what I'm, sorry, a long winded point to get to that point. I don't think this, I don't think there is a weak entry in this franchise, whether it be the TV series or the five movies. I don't think there's a weak. I don't think there's a weak point. <laughs> the one thing I was really concerned about is that when the kids were introduced, I was like in the back of my mind, I was like, "Are they really going to play it safe? Are they going to play it safe? Are they going to play it safe?" No, they did not play it safe because even the little girl was going to get it. You know what I mean? Like there was a moment in time, there was a moment in that movie where I sat there and thought, "Oh my god." This little girl's gonna turn. Spoiler, she doesn't. But it it was there. It was there. You know what I mean? It it created a, a an inch of doubt, and that's what you want from your movie. I know there's a lot of criticism with the <laughs> with the the dumb kid, the dumb DJ. But you know what? You can't have a horror movie without a dumb character. It's a dumb character that makes a horror movie go forward. And this movie has one of my favorite things, practical effects. Nothing but blood and guts spilling everywhere. It was so great, you know what I mean? This movie did not play it safe at all because there's a hallway sequence where everybody gets it, even the kid. And there's an unwritten rule in a horror movie that kids and pets are usually off the table. Once you knock one of them off, all bets are off. I love this movie. I thought it was a great movie. I had a blast with it. I think you will too. This isn't theaters now. Go check it.